All right, welcome back to game two of the three-game set. Big win for the Nats last night. This guy joining us right now led the whole party off with a home run. Are you close to 100% right now? I think uh, I'm getting there day by day. Um, obviously, uh, you know, I have good days and bad days. Uh, there's days when I, you know, I feel more closer to 100%. And, uh, you know, when, those, when, the, when there are bad days, it's usually because I'm uh, a little sore. Well, I mean, you took a day off. You came in yesterday. You're swinging the bat. So good days, bad days. When do you feel like you're going to start stealing some bases? Do you, you see that in the near future? Yeah, I think so. I mean, last night... Uh, we, uh, we had planned on, uh, you know, trying to execute that a little bit, uh, but uh, you know, the score got got out of hand a little bit. Um, so, you know, I think uh, these next weeks, next couple weeks, uh, I'm probably going to try to be a little aggressive. So, in 2013, 127 games to get to three home runs. In 2014, 124 games to get to three home runs. This year. 17 games to get to three home right, runs. You right. are strong, my man. What's that's going right. on with the home uh, runs? Man, you know, it's been a work in progress. Um, you know, I've been uh, working with uh, Shuey for the last couple years, and, uh, you know, we've just been working on getting in, uh, you know, just a good position to hit, and uh, I think now we're finally starting to see the result uh, of, you know, of the hard work. Well, what, talk about the position to hit because you have a unique stance, one of the more mm -hmm. unique left-handed stances in baseball mm -hmm. where you have, you're turned in, you kind of squat mm -hmm. down. I mean, that's a lot to keep up on a daily basis. Yeah, it is, man. It is. That's why, you know, I do a lot of my cage work. I don't hit on the field. You know, I do a lot of my work in the cage. And uh, so, you know, a lot goes into my swing. It's a, it's a, a lot of it is timing. Um, you know, the majority of it really is timing. And uh, that's why you see me take my time. I always, you know, raise my hand, ask for time out to make sure I got my body and my hands, um, you know, where I want them to, to be. My mind is spinning right now on which question to ask you. I was going to ask you how many citations you have in your locker for not having two <laughs> feet in the batter's box. We're not going to go there yeah. right now. I, I, want to, I want you to tell the fans what you go through on a daily basis. From the time you get to the ballpark, the treatment, the cage, the batting practice. I think a lot of fans don't realize that you guys get here around 1 o'clock every day. Yeah, I mean, I got here probably around 2 o'clock today. But uh, I usually get here, I get a little food in me, uh, take my vitamins. Um, and after that, uh, you know, I might watch TV for a split second just to kind of uh, get my mind prepared uh, for what I want to do that day. And then after that, I go straight to the to the weight room and and uh, get my body loose. Um, do a lot of activation, uh, different types of exercises, uh, especially coming off surgery. So I gotta you know make sure I do my um, you know just a, a good adequate warm up to make sure my body is ready to go. And and after that, I you know I go to the cage and get my cage work in. And then um, by that time, it's it's time for for batting practice and stretch and and then I get my uh, my shag on. And then you go back in, maybe back take in. a shower, yeah. get your game uni on. You have a routine every single day. Yeah, same routine. I, I try to stick with it as much as possible, especially when I'm going good. All right. If you guys are healthy and you're clicking, are you the best team in baseball? Of, of course. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Well, that's the answer everybody wanted to hear, I'm sure. Uh, Denard, thanks for taking time out. No